I have unboxed more OLED TVs than a cat has lives. Calibrated hundreds of them. TVs, not cats of course. And reviewed my fair share on this very YouTube channel. But so far, I haven't been able to show you how an OLED TV is manufactured. Mainly because most OLED TV brands don't allow filming inside their top secret factories during media visits. However, thanks to one particular OLED TV manufacturer, I've managed to film some footage inside an OLED TV production facility. So finally, you will be able to see the different steps that go into making and testing an OLED television before being boxed up to be shipped eventually to your home for you to enjoy outstanding picture quality. In this particular case, the OLED panel was supplied by LG Display, and trained technicians at different stations would be responsible for installing various components onto the back of the OLED module, such as the mains electronics and power supply boards, speakers, not to mention the cabling in between. Each component would be tagged with barcode and scanned to provide traceability, so that in the unlikely event of an epidemic failure, it would be easier to identify the point of vulnerability, or indeed where the faulty products are located, be them in the warehouse, in stores, or in customers' homes. With all the components in place, a technician would peel off any protective plastic film that's no longer needed, then carefully put on a back cover before screwing it tight. assembled OLED TV would then be transferred using a vacuum lifting system to an adjacent station, where it would be turned upright to be placed onto a temporary stand for further inspection. Next, power and video signal cables would be connected to the assembled television for it to be switched on for the first time, then transported to a mostly automated upper floor for the TV to be run in for at least 35 minutes in a special warm-up mode. This is Lover's first quality check. To catch any major failure which would usually occur within this 35-minute time frame from first power on, Every lower OLED that has passed the first quality check would then be transported back down to the lower floor, arriving at a calibration station where the white balance would be measured using Konica Minota meters, then automatically adjusted to target values. After automatic white balance adjustment, the OLED TV would be moved on to the next station for a high voltage test where 2,000 volts would be applied to the display to make sure that its insulation and other protective measures are adequate to prevent electrical shocks, while also verifying that the television meets the required standards and specifications to be sold and used legally. Crucially, Lerva operates a strict zero-pixel defect policy, and the next station involved an experienced staff using full-fill color slides to make sure there's no dead pixel on every OLED TV, in addition to audio sweep and AV synchronization test. By this stage, there would have been numerous instances of manual handling and checking, so naturally, any dust or fingerprints would have to be cleaned up, which is what happens at the next station, 
where someone would wipe down both the front and the back of the TV with the help of an air blower, some cleaning solution and a microfiber cloth. After that, protective foam sheets would be attached to the TV which would then be shipped off to the packing station. Here, a vacuum lifting equipment would be used to detach the television from the temporary stand. to be hand-packed carefully into a cardboard box together with styrofoam inserts and relevant accessories such as remote controls, manuals and cables before the box is sealed up and labelled with product information stickers. At the end of the assembly line, the packaged TVs would be stored in a warehouse on pallets, ready to be shipped to distributors and retailers who would in turn sell the OLED TVs to consumers. Note that not all TVs in a single production run would be boxed up for sale. The initial units from each batch would be set aside for a 24-hour aging test, and more importantly, the first sample would be sent to Lerver's repair department who would open up the TV to check the internal components and make sure everything's okay before the entire batch can be approved for release from warehouse. Talking about repairs, Lerver places a very strong emphasis on the sustainability of their TVs by ensuring that they are repairable and serviceable. Even many years after purchase, contrary to the disposable nature of many consumer electronic products these days. To fulfill this philosophy, the company uses high-quality materials and robust construction techniques to guarantee the longevity of their products, adopts a modular design approach so that individual components can be easily replaced or upgraded without needing to replace the entire TV maintains an in-house repair team consisting of technicians who are well-trained in handling the specific needs of their TVs and providing after-sales support. The German manufacturer also keeps a warehouse full of spare parts, even for models that have been discontinued to ensure that repairs can be carried out efficiently without the need to search for compatible parts from third-party suppliers. As far as Lover is concerned, its commitment to sustainability and longevity is part of the reason why its OLED models cost more than other brands. On top of unique design and aesthetics, superior quality material and meticulous craftsmanship, extensive customization and integration possibilities such as various color, stand and mount options, 
as well as rigorous quality control, including the company's zero-pixel defect policy. If you are wondering which OLED TV is most suitable for your individual needs, one place where you can get good advice is at Richer Sounds, a trusted British AV retailer who has won the Best Retailer of the Year award from which Consumers Association for the fifth time in the last six years. Richer Sounds has more than 50 stores in the United Kingdom and carries stock of Lover OLEDs, including through its custom installation service. To get the best deal, advice and demonstration, go visit your local Richer Sounds store to meet the knowledgeable staff and see the products yourself. Thanks again for your support. Okay, so I've shown you a Lover OLED TV being assembled and boxed up at the factory. But what happens when customers receive it in their home? Well, it just so happens that I've done an unboxing video of a Lover OLED which is arguably the most well-packed TV I've ever unboxed. So go watch it here.